Ferrari's search for a female signing to their Driver Academy has concluded, with the winning candidate announced later this week. I'm Thomas Marr, be sure to like and subscribe for the very latest Formula 1 news. Ferrari, together with the FIA, will announce the successful candidate of their Girls on Track Rising Stars initiative later this week. Set up by the FIA's Women in Motorsport Commission, Ferrari held a shootout at their headquarters in Maranello to whittle down an extensive list of entrants to select just four candidates to go through to the finals. Initially scheduled to be held in November, the finals had to be postponed as one of the candidates tested positive for the coronavirus. Fully recovered, the finals were held in the last week at Maranello. The four candidates are 15-year-old Julia Ayub, 14-year-old Antonella Bassani, both of whom are from Brazil, 16-year-old Dorian Pan from France and Maya Woog also 16. Over the course of five days the four candidates were immersed entirely in the world of Ferrari and thrown in the deep end of the academy to see who would sink or swim. The tests looked at areas such as reaction speed and endurance, attitude, physical characteristics and mental suitability. All the areas the usual selection programme for the Driver Academy evaluates. These are tested as these are the areas in which drivers must be able to cope in the line of work as a young athlete. Along with simulator sessions, the final two days were dedicated solely to driving an F4 car. The intent is to sign up the winning candidate to the Italian F4 Championship. The candidates have now returned home to await the decision made by Ferrari. The Driver Academy will evaluate the four drivers before announcing which one will join Ferrari this Friday 22nd of January. The decision will be live streamed on the FDA social media channels as well as the FIA's Women in Motorsport Commission Facebook page. To commemorate the occasion, Pirelli had all four candidates sign a tyre, which was also signed by Ferrari bosses Mattia Bonotto and Lauren Mekis, as well as head of the Ferrari Driver Academy Marco Matata. President of the FIA Women in Motorsport Commission Michel Mouton also signed it. The Driver Academy was founded in uh, 2009 and uh, the, four, the, the, the first driver that took part to it was uh, Jules Bianchi, which a few years later was able to uh, make his debut in, uh, in F1. Our main objective are uh, to uh, detect uh, um, young talented drivers which one day will be able to win for us. Um, for, uh, for Ferrari Driver Academy, uh, opening the doors to female drivers uh, um, this year uh, represents a really big opportunity and also they achieve a, a big achievement uh, because uh, uh, as, a, as an academy but also as Ferrari we strongly believe in the uh, sporting equity between men and uh, female. Uh, therefore, um, for us, and also thanks to the co collaboration with uh, the FIA, uh, the Girls on Track uh, um, initiative, uh, we are really uh, happy and glad to be part of this, uh, of this process. I would really like to enjoy FDA because FDA have some solid values and I also have mine. I think that they, they really valorize the driver in all the aspects and I really valorize that too. Like Ferrari likes to disavowment the driver in the physical, mental and also the track side. And I think that's really nice because having an opportunity like that is not for everyone. So I expect to give my best. I am giving it and I expect that I win it because I really want it. I want to, to join the Fair Driver Academy because it's my dream to be, yeah, to, to go to Formula One and uh, it's uh, the, the best thing to, to involve and, uh, and work with the, the best people in motorsport. Well, I would like to join the FDA because I think it would improve myself as a driver but also as a person and it would help me to achieve my dream, which is becoming an F1 driver. Um, so yeah, FDA is, I think, the best way to achieve my dream and improve myself as a driver. My passion in motorsport uh, is starting with my dad and uh, my sister. The history, because Ferrari exists in my history, very, very hard in motorsport and uh, access to motorsport. That's it from me for the moment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Thomas Marr on F1.